<laughs> good evening, everyone. Good afternoon, wherever you are around the world. This is Dr. Amina Ali. I'm coming to you from the United Nations, and we are celebrating the International Day of the Woman. And we have here a very prestigious woman uh, with us, as you see. Um, this is a uh, lady, <laughs> Dr. Julie uh, uh, Hamer Agnes. Um, and she is from uh, well, she's from here, but she's coming up from Florida. She is, I call her, she's a New Yorker. She's always been a New Yorker to me. Uh, but she's coming up from Florida to do this interview with us and join us here at the United Nations to be a part of history making for the world. And I would like to just welcome you, Dr. Agnes. If you would, could you uh, just give us a little bit about you and tell us about who you are and then we'll get right into the questions. Oh, Dr. Tamina, it is a privilege and a pleasure to be here on this particular platform on this particular day celebrating international women's day yes you know we have come a long way as women but we're getting to that because <laughs> you want to know where i'm from well i'm originally from georgetown Diana, yes south america mm -hmm. bordered between venezuela and brazil the only english speaking country in that particular basin there so yes that's where i'm from i am the youngest of six mm. and um mm. here i am a mother of two proud yes. grandmother of three and i am happy and i am blessed and i yes. thank god for every minute every moment every second i take nothing for granted yes, and true. forever i will give god the glory for that mm. that i'm clothed in my right mind and i can wake up every day to do and to perfect what I believe in, which is the rights of women, the struggle of women, the, the, the force of women, the tenacity of women, that we need to you know, get it all together. But once again, I am so happy, and I really do thank you for the opportunity yes. and the platform that we can have this conversation. Yes. So here you have it in a little nutshell. I love it. I love it. And I will hold on to that nutshell forever. Thank you, Dr. Agnes. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get into this uh, a little quickly. Um, some of the things that we are going to aspire to do today is, since we always talk about empowerment of women and the diversity of women, we speak about um, making sure that women are at the table, making sure that whatever we do is recorded in history as uh, prevalent for the history making of women. But let me ask you this. What is the difference between a woman and a lady. Mm. Woman, the, the difference between a woman and a lady, when you are growing up, you're considered a little lady. Mm -hmm. You're all feminine mm -hmm. in your buckles and bows and mm -hmm. ribbons and socks and all that <laughs> stuff. And you're like just a cute little lady. Yes. But as you get older, you're not a lady anymore. You're a woman. Mm. Because you're getting ready to face the world and its challenges yes. and the idiosyncrasies and the putting up with everything. Mm -hmm. That's what makes you a lady mm -hmm. into a woman. Yes. Because okay. as you're being nurtured as a lady growing up, mm -hmm. you are being groomed for that particular moment mm. when you become a woman. Nice. Nice. I like the way you put that. Be because there is so much for you to learn. Mm -hmm. See, women are born empowered. Nice. We were born empowered. Because from the time we were born and started to grow, we they have already told us, you, will, you have to do it. This. Yes. this is what you do. You manage your family. Take care of your family. Take care of your husband. We are empowered. They gave us, our ancestors gave us mm. the power to go forward to do this. Mm -hmm. So as you grow and you realize you have a voice, mm -hmm. which we didn't have before. We did not. We did not have a voice before. We were deemed second-class citizens in the human race because we were women. Yes. Yes. So you have to take it all the way from there and bring it back all the way to where we are right now. Mm -hmm. Which is the fact that a lot of times it was like a condescending situation. Now it's like I gotta recognize this person, but she's a woman, you don't have a choice. That's right. That's right. You know, Helen Reddy in her song says, I'm woman, watch, hear me roar. A number's too big to ignore. We are at that point right now that you can't ignore us anymore. Correct. So the girl, the lady, mm. 
has become a woman yes. with a voice. I love it. So that's the difference. Ladies sit and cross their ankles. Mm. That's what ladies do. I love it. Women cross their legs. <laughs> As you sit as a kid, you, you cross your ankles because you're a little lady. Mm -hmm. And that's when you get all the tea parties <laughs> and everything. But as you get older and you know yourself, what you cross your legs because I am your equal. Mm. I love that. I am your equal. Let's I am your equal. Let's build on that one um, for our next piece. Um, I am your equal. I am your equal. Okay. So then in that, what is the difference between feminism and women's empowerment. And I know you can speak <laughs> legions on this. And I need you to talk as long oh, as you wish. What is it's the difference amazing. between feminism? Feminism is a movement. Nice. Feminism is a movement. Okay. And a process okay. of advancing women's rights. Okay. That's feminism. Okay. Now, once you hit that plateau, okay and you are aware of who you are. Now the empowerment is a part of the process, right? right? Okay. And advancing the rights of women mm -hmm. since we were once viewed as second class citizens. Oh. That oh. always bothered me oh, oh. to think that we were viewed that way. Okay, explain it. Because so many women back in the age had a, they didn't have a voice, right. but they had the thought and the thought process to sure. do a lot of things, sure. which, which is never being told. Mm. Because a lot of women, you hear the saying, behind every successful man, there was mm. a woman. Oh, and okay. people take it for granted, but it's yeah. a fact because it was all our ideas as women that we give them that they were acceptable out there to, to go sure. ahead and do what they had to do to while sure. we sit back and let them take the credit. Correct. But as time go by and everything else falls into place, it's like, I don't have to do this anymore. Absolutely. I am not going to tell you what my innermost thoughts are. I am not going to tell you where I'm deriving from. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. You go figure it. And I am going to build on the inner me and the inner strength of me. Yeah. And the person I am, the purpose, the driven purpose I am, you cannot take that from me. Mm. I have the right to my voice. I have the right to my dreams. Mm. I have the right to my purpose. Yes. Do not allow anyone to take that away from you. Because once that is taken away from you, you don't have anything left. Correct. Correct. You are a shell. I know you've heard of stories of women that took jobs to put their husbands through school. Absolutely. And then when he got He's gone. to his he level of where he wanted to be of comfortability, he actually forgot that mm -hmm. there was somebody there roaring for him mm -hmm. when he didn't have a voice. Correct. So what women across the world started doing is we're not doing this. Mm -hmm. We started to become more wiser mm -hmm. and more aware. Okay. Awareness doesn't mean that you're wise. It just means that you have the knowledge to know right from wrong. Gotcha. But then when you are wise, How do you, you start to put your wisdom into perspective. Got it. And to make it happen, Got it. it becomes a cohesive situation between you and yourself. That's it. I needed that. I needed between you and yourself. It yeah. becomes a cohesive relationship. That bond that you form with sure. yourself, Correct. nobody can shake. That's crazy. I, you know, I needed that confirmation today because there's so many, um, as I'm coming up, um, I'm nearing uh, 60. And I know that there are women that are uh, coming into their own and we're trying to figure this out. We're not 20-somethings. We're not even 30-somethings. Our kids are more. Grown. Right. Our kids are grown and we're trying to establish who we are after all of this. And this is a new thing. And it's, they call it midlife crisis, but I don't like to call it crisis. It's not a crisis. Thank you. It's an awareness. It's a midlife awareness. Thank you. And I oh, needed to put that in perspective. It's not a crisis by any means necessary. Yeah. That's what I thought. It's a midlife awareness. Correct. And as you grow and maturation takes over, mm -hmm. you have a right to feel that way. Yeah. I'm 66 and I still feel sometimes that I have not achieved or accomplished anything. You are so, oh my God. 
<laughs> at 66. This is how I feel. I have not done anything with my life. Yes. And for you to say that, as much as you traveled and, and well kept, I mean, this, you will not know that she is so humble and saying this woman travels the world regularly and just takes a break just in, in between jet lag. You know? <laughs> but she is um, the epitome of what I see in a woman, what I see for myself, and what I see in this next legacy of what I'm leaving. So I brought her on to ask, ask these questions and answer them so that we would be able to get a perspective from someone a little bit older, a little bit wiser. It's really easy to sit down with 20-somethings and ask about world knowledge and they'll look at you crazy. And if it's not on Instagram or if it's not on Facebook, they probably won't understand it. But when you lived it, the femininity, the wisdom, the empowerment, the motivation comes naturally and it's innate. Um, and I wanted to uh, get that perspective today. So my last question to you is, um, speaking of that, can you separate your purpose from your mission? Of course. Wow. Why? How? How do we do that? Okay. First of all, you have to acknowledge mm -hmm. both. Okay. Your purpose. Correct. And your mission. Correct. You have to live a purpose-driven life. Mm -hmm. What is your? What wakes you up in the morning? Mm -hmm. What makes Doctor Mina Ali go? Mm -hmm. What makes Doctor Mina Ali stop and think? That's mm. your whatever that little thing is. That's your purpose. Mm. You have a right to be here. That is your purpose. Mm. You, you're not here by accident. I don't believe that. It's your purpose. It is. It is. It is your purpose. I do believe that. Now, when when you flip that around, mm -hmm. you got to think about self worth. Okay. Okay. And this is what a lot of people lack. Yeah. Self-worth. Know your value. Mm. Know your value. Because if you don't know your value, you don't have self-worth. Yeah. At all. You yeah. will stand and fall for anything and everything because you as an individual doesn't know yourself. Yeah. And that is why you find so many people succumb to abusive relationships. Correct. Because somebody else is yanking your chain. <laughs> somebody else is, 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 is giving the, the dossier on how you should be. Correct. And you're sitting there or you're standing there. You're not participating in your own life. You're giving somebody else the authority to tell you what to do and how to do it. That's not a purpose-driven life. That's true. A purpose-driven life is knowing that tomorrow morning I'm getting up and I'm going to the UN and I'm going to have a conversation with Dr. John and I know it's going to be perfected the way I want it to be. That is your purpose for that yeah. day. Every day of your breath in your body should be a day of purpose. I like that. Now you're asking the question, can I separate purpose from mission? What is my mission? Yeah. My mission is to touch every single woman I can within the sound of my voice and the reach of my hand. And you have about a thousand people looking right now. So, okay, you have a thousand people. Looking. Because it is very important okay. for you as an individual to know what you're giving the world. Correct. Now, what you don't want, mm -hmm. don't give to anybody else. Mm -hmm. I'm a very strong believer of that. And I live my life with that purpose. Okay. And like I always say, to thine own self be true, true. and to no man would ye be false. Because when you are false to yourself, you are creating a situation that you don't even know what That's you're true. doing. That's it's correct. an illusion. It is. And you're selling this to other people. Correct. How can I sit here and tell you, you got to fight? Mm. It's because I have fought to be where I am. Mm -hmm. And it's possible for me. Of course it's possible for you, That's but you have never seen yeah. yourself in that bracket or Correct. in that realm it's not a, a or in that situation because yeah. you're saying to yourself, oh, it's okay for her. She got it together. No, I did not always have it together. Yeah. Yeah. It took work. It took a lot of me talking to me. It took a lot of me working with me. Wow. But when you can look at yourself in the mirror, that's your best friend. I'd, I'd advise any woman in any state or form you're in, your mirror is your best friend. Some people would say, I don't want to look into the mirror. Why? 
because you don't like what you see. Mm. And if you don't like what you see looking into the mirror, who do you think is going to like you? Mm. That's correct. If you can't live with you, you expect somebody That's else to me. live with you? No. Think about it. No. Wow. See, as we walk along life's road, life's journey, mm -hmm. and you start of being aware of what your purpose is, you find that things in life become a little easier. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Because yesterday's passion may not be today's future. That was yesterday. You, you got to have a focus in going forward. How far do I want to go? Do I just walk three miles and stop? Or should I go four miles and look back? Because you don't remember, don't forget, you are leaving footprints in the sands of time <laughs> for other people to follow you. So if you walk two miles and stop, you didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. But when you walk four miles to look back, you've gone a great distance. You have gone a long way. Yeah. yeah. So do you deserve to pat yourself on the back and say, yes, what? I did it. <laughs> I made it through the rain. And I can stand firm knowing that I did this. I accomplished this. It was because of my efforts. There are times you're going to feel like a failure because some days I wake up and I swear to God I'm a failure. I'm telling you. I say to myself, what did you do? You, you haven't done anything. Oh, this is funny. You haven't done anything. Why? Because I have not lived my best life yet. I still have so much more to do. There is so much more I want to give of myself. Like I said to my students one day, I want to leave the universe empty. Mm. I want to impart as much knowledge as I can into the people around me that I can. So I want to go back empty. I don't want to take anything, anything with me, with me that's that. considered knowledge. Yeah. You should be able to share it at any level you should. because you don't know who's listening to right. you and what their takeaway from your message would be. Mm -hmm. But if you just shut it down and sit down and you, I can't do this and I'm not going to make it, it's not going to come out right. Who told you so? You killed your future before you started. started. True. So you can't allow that to happen to you. You shouldn't allow that to happen to you. Wow. So... My purpose every day as I get up is to make sure I can touch one life and change somebody. Yes. Okay. And you don't have to do that by a big stick. Right. You don't have to do that by harsh words. Correct. You can be very humble Something in doing simple. it. Yeah. Very simple things yeah. you can do to make that impact. Yeah. You don't have to have a mic and roll loud. That's not everybody's <laughs> calling. Correct. Some people Good. is just to sit in the corner and to be humble, yeah. observe, and then after the fact, they'll tell you, I didn't like that segment. I liked this segment. Okay. What did you get out of that segment? And then they can tell yeah, you, right? right. Because okay. they're not public speakers. Yeah. But then when you're a loud mouth like I am, <laughs> you talk. She didn't say that. I did. I'm a loud mouth because I want women to know that being empowered is not just a word. It's an action. You said it's a before. doing word. You said that in another speaking engagement that you didn't yes. like the word empowerment because it uses it so much. So much. It's a, it's a, it's an abused word. It is. I'm empowered. Okay, I'm I'm happy for you that you're empowered. <laughs> I'm so excited that you're empowered. Now, when you're empowered, what are you doing with all this empowerment? Are you taking me home? Are you going to empower your husband and your sons? Are you going to make sure that your daughters are empowered? Mm. as you are or is it does it stop with you mm. because if if it stops with you and what have we done you are not doing a good job and i tell you why you're not doing a good job because you are lacking you did not pass it on to somebody else so how do you want to be empowered how do you want to see yourself when you leave the public stage when you leave this life stage how do you want to be viewed? Well, that's going to come to my last question. How do you want to be seen um, in society when you have passed on and, and, and we are honoring you in many, many celebrations? How do you want us to remember you? 
I just want to be remembered upon my demise as that individual that made a difference and an impact mm. with men and women throughout the universe. Mm. Mm. She said men and women. Of course. International Day of the Woman, she is included. Lock them out. No, because a no. lot of them depend on our knowledge, even though their egos That's would not right. allow it. That's but right. today, like you rightly said, it's International Women's Day, but that topic is for another time. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back on that. We're going to come back on that topic, you know? But we, we got to go forward knowing that we are the catalyst yes. of what happens okay. in our home, okay. in our communities. And definitely in society. Okay. Because we are the game changers. Yes. We are the game changers. Yes. 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 Whenever Thank you climb the ladder of success, look back, stick out your hand. Yeah. And pull somebody with you. Pull somebody with you. Pull amazing. somebody with you. That is amazing. Humility is the master of the universe. Be humble. So she is, this is a master class. <laughs> Because this woman has humility. I want to thank you so very much, Dr. Joy, for being here today, being with us. Um, we have about 1,700 people that are watching you now live streaming. Well, good morning to everybody. Morning. And thanks again for the opportunity. You are welcome. We will send you a copy of this, of course, for your, um, for your records and, and for your viewing pleasure. But I just want to thank you so very much today for coming and being a part of this uh, conglomerate of International Women's Day festivities. We're going to have a couple more programs. We have one tonight at 4.45, and then we have another one I, um, at uh, 7 p.m., and that is in one of the embassies, and I have to get further information, but it's going to be a jam-packed day of international uh, interfaith worship, mm -hmm. um, and then there's going to be a few episodes of just joy and celebration because we have a woman's circle that's going to be tonight that's just going to be everyone just dancing and celebrating and i just cannot wait so i want to thank you and on behalf of the federation of international gender and human rights the united nations who is hosting us today and those that are wanting to have this connection today i want to thank you and i want to thank you for being here with us on today. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Ali. Thank you so much, Dr. Ali. You're most yeah, welcome. My pleasure. And we'll talk soon. Yes, we will. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, my God.